Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot card messages for the week of March 29th, April 4. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that all is well with you. And these messages are tarot reading for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And whoa, the star card is your first card. Strong Aquarius energy. You're getting some attention online. Something is missing. It's going to be solved. You could be, um, did you, uh, like you, you, you could be an investigative energy, Gemini, where you look deeply into things. You're a curious soul. You're not, you could be studying something, looking into something. Um, maybe read, um, language, numbers, researching, history, Gemini, curse, Gem um, July, whatever. You could be breaking curses, but you're getting a lot of attention online in your community for being outstanding. I hear visitor. You could be a tourist also, or you could be new. I hear sheep or sleep or something. You're here for a special reason. You may have an online platform for sure with this three of diamonds. And you're getting compliments and star-like attention. Someone may be missing. Someone may be missing you or something about stealing perhaps or person, someone's destiny. We have the devil card. Yeah, we have innocence clarifying this devil card. Someone may be missing someone I hear uh, prognostic or something like this. Someone was trying to do something horrid. Maybe to deface someone or something. But you ended up taking back your power. Like I said, you give me an investigative energy where you're always looking into things. Reading, doing the history, going over the files. And there was some corruption. Something was corrupt here, or someone in particular was. Maybe a Capricorn energy, maybe not. Maybe a Gemini. Um, maybe an Aquarius, pardon me. Alright, this could be about money, or something about money handling and birthrights and inheritance, insurance. You could be, you could be auditing some great corruption energies here, Gemini. Um, so you could be a, an accountant. Yeah, I think you're also with the full card. You're doing something that a lot of people are not doing. You're looking into some so-called unresolved cases and files and stuff like that. And you're, you're putting some things out there. So you're getting a lot of attention, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be fighting against certain things that are um, like corrupted. You yeah, know, like crime stop or something like this right you could be unresolved is saying like you could be solving mysteries like un you, you like the unsolved the ones that are so-called unsolved right you're digging deeper with that chaotic energy and you're coming up with answers where they said there were no answers you know you're also healing, soul searching, you're facing your fears, you're doing shadow work, you're doing shadow work on your mother, shadow work on your parents, shadow work on your generations. Going back to generational curse breaker, I feel like you're uncovering a lot of things, Gemini, about your own history that people hid and you, as somehow you have a leeway into records. So you could be psychic or whatever you you're you're uh, here. You could be remote, good at remote viewing. You could be a telepath. You just have um like a natural clear sentient. But whatever you're doing, you're kind of remaining low key and mysterious and unpredictable at this point. You're moving like with, with spirit, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you're like untraceable at this point, but you're finding some things out. And you may be coming out to reveal certain things and you may be feeling like this is the most I working through you. We have the Ten of Swords. That is next. I feel like with the Ten of Swords card, there, there's been things that were taken from you specially. Alright, so you have a, like a personal reason why you're doing this. Because something of a kind was somehow, I hear, napped. Okay, somehow taken, it may have had to do with your own money. Something personal, like you say, you had a personal experience with this devil energy. Someone that took some something innocent or spoiled up someone's well-being. Okay, that's that's why you have your, that's why you're, you're investigating this personally. The tower card, you're, the someone is about to be exposed. The EX word is going to be strong. Exited extradited hex extremities all kind of ex vibration and hexes as well 
you know also the truth is coming out about people and ex other people all kind of things coming up in a gemini for real Libra Aquarius, Capricorn, these corrupted energies in all different places, that Ten of Swords energy. And I feel like most importantly, it is within you, you and your family and like it's personal. It's personal too, but it is, you're not breaking it for yourself. You're breaking these spells and curses and corruptions for many people. So you're waking up a lot of people with this tower card. You're pulling that switch or pulling that lever to release information, Aquarius vibration. And I feel like you mean business about it, the tower card, because they've got to come down. A lot's been going on that you know about or you've been studying about. And you've been finding yourself. You've found yourself. It's, imagine you opened a book and you found, you saw yourself in there, you read your own history. And you were like... It's a mysterious book of secrets you end up finding, you know, far down into some caves and caverns, you know. You ended up finding yourself there in a book. And you saw the truth of who you are. And you're like, ooh. And then you came back out knowing you, who you are. And you came back out with, you know, to rip, to, to, to expose all right, they are also watching you. I don't know who they are, but I know that they are watching you. Ever since you found the information, they've been watching you. Ever since you found the answer, they've been watching you. Ever since you left that cave with the information, they've been on to you. Like these little spirits, they had to like come along with you. So some weird things happening because you've been you've opened up certain channels, you've attached to you or attracted to you some weird little spirits. Okay, and I don't know if they're good or bad. They're just, they cause little this, little that, like little chaos, little this and little that around you. Because they're, they're, they're like around doing a frenzy. Okay, like you've unlocked them too. They are a part of the spirit, that they're a part of the new knowledge that you found. They've, they come with it. They come along with the journey. Like when they turned Cinderella, that like when they turned beast into the beast, the candlesticks also turned into the people also turned into candlesticks so it's like they come along with this new knowledge whatever little spirits are around okay they can um help you guide you because like you may be more intuitive you may be more psychic you may be more anxious you may be hearing things more seeing things more they come along with it these little triggers and these little spirits they can help you on the journey pictures with money you're gonna be finding out some more clues here connecting more with your spiritual family um you may be feeling alone sometimes you may feel like you have a lot going on in your brain space all at once that song i had it all but it doesn't mean anything since you're gone all right so you may be feeling like you may need some ice cream um or do some yoga make some banana ice cream Maybe put some cocoa powder in it or some real chocolate or just blend yourself a nice ice cream with some raisins. You need, may need to treat yourself to something like that. Even like masculine energy I'm talking to you too. Okay, beautiful soul. Because you may be spending a lot of time, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, traveling, remote viewing, getting information, diving into the psychic world, all kind of things. So you may feel sometimes a bit chaotic yourself and you need to be centered. So if you're not finding love like a mate in your life, you need to treat yourself right. You know, sometimes learn how to sit and break from the character that you're playing and remember who you are. All right, three of wands, who you are innately is a gift. The three of wands, something about your family, hangman, some delays too, and roadblocks and setbacks. And um, the hangman card and the three of wands, it's like, it's like you were inhibited because you some things were missing, information was missing, you know? So... Yeah, now um, the Knight of Wands. You may be moving, I hear, or sleeping, or moving something, or something is coming your way soon, within the week. 
page of cups maybe a capricorn virgo taurus that you're going to be dealing with this could be about money businesses working with another one collaboration how you're going to be moving forward let's explore the full card a little bit you may be feeling tired you may be feeling like sometimes corruption surrounds you but i'm yeah you are good the ace of diamonds and the high priestess you are a priest the priest card all right i feel like you're in good in a good space um a good place right now all right so remember that the ten of swords is like the heaviness you're feeling is like sometimes you may be resonating with the general energy of the the crisis or of the state of the world which is what they they have everyone underneath right now which is like feelings of sadness loneliness depression sometimes you feel what everyone else is feeling because you are around your devices you're not going to the water sources to help to neutralize these energy bodies or you're not wearing your tinfoil hats and everything like that you're not protecting your own mind your own thoughts you know because the invasion is upon so um and and you know so much but take it easy out there protect your mind let's see if our love is moving in your life because i feel like you could use some oh my gosh yes because I feel like you could use someone that you can trust in this process. Some that, someone that you can love. And it, look, I know most guys are about to send you someone. Sun card. The world card. But you don't want too much. That's the thing. Because if this person come around and then there's a baby, then I feel like you may be thinking it's going to distract you from your work. So you want love, you know, but you don't want too much. You just want... Someone that is like a, a loving person there for you when your headspace get too tired. Ten of diamonds. Yeah, you're going to get your dreams, your wishes, your, what you want. You're going to get it manifested. Ace of cups, five of diamonds. Maybe you've been in love for a long time, but you're going to find the right person. Everything is, wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Everything is going to work out well. Look, lover's card and the six. Ooh. Ooh, the six of ones you're gonna make so much you know what with this person you're gonna have so much of it it's gonna be really good they're gonna be a healthy strong um like distraction and healthy connection um they may also help you to focus but you know be mindful of this person be mindful of who you are attracting so you don't attract someone that's a, a thief or you may need a night nurse but make sure it's not a delilah but anywho you know so keep it up um masculine or feminine all the best all is well all is within you like share comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one much love